Big data is a trend. It's almost unavoidable in any country, any research field. Big data is there and it can grow even bigger. In our approach, we just want to use massive big data plus knowledge base to see how to transform this unstructured data into structured networks. We can't really begin to analyze data at scale until we have the methods in place to make sure that we can find the data that we're interested in and that we can make sure that the data that we're accessing say what we think they do and understand where the data came from. I worked in two areas related to AI and uh, cancer. The first area was to take you know, medical records to transform them into, with machine learning, into a tables where for every patient you know exactly what is the type of conditions the patient have. On another end, I'm working on computer vision and we try to automate reading of the mammograms, which are digi digital x-rays of the breast. We can identify a group of mammograms which for sure don't have cancer, so you can cut the load of the radiologist by 40%. So we want to emphasize the fact that every time some data is being produced in the field, medicine or agronomy, it needs to be structured, it needs to be handled by semantics. We believe we can go also from biomedicine to agriculture and then leverage the technology and science that have been done in that domain and make it available for a domain that is less funded, less supported or less important. Basically to take data from being a private kind of uh, commodity and make it more public so that the world can take advantage of scientific results and everybody can get the benefit of scientific investigation. Yeah, I think this topic in principle, it almost applies to any occupation, any research field, because we, we're in a big data age, okay? So everybody has to encounter and how, you know, to handle those big data.